Good day, people. This is Thoughts from the Hairy Brush, and as I said before, if it's good enough for bikers, well, it's damn well good enough for us sweets. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you about multi fuel stoves and why they're different to wood burning stoves. See, a wood burner can only use wood on a wood burning stove. But where multi fuel is concerned, you can burn wood or smokeless coal. You should never burn house coal anyway, because modern stoves it will literally burn it straight out if you use house coal. Uh, so it's smokeless coal. Now the thing is, if you're actually using a multi-fuel stove purely for wood, well then what you do is you close the bottom intake. There are two normally on a multi-fuel stove. One at the top, one at the bottom. Okay? But when you're using it just for wood, wood burns from the top down. So you want air to be drawn across the top of the wood to make a better combustion. So you, want in, you don't want incomplete combustion because that's going to send more particulates into the air and cause more problems for your environment. Okay? And you don't want your kids to fry when, we, you know, when we're gone from holes left in the sky from us. So the best thing is learn how to use the stove correctly uh, and then hopefully it's going to make it a bit better for us all. So when you're only using wood, only use the top. Close the bottom down. Now, if you're using smokeless coal, you reverse it. Close the top and only use the bottom. For the main reason is, smokeless coal burns from the bottom up. Wood burns from the top down, smokeless coal is from the bottom up. You should never burn wood and smokeless coal at the same time. Reason is, they're both fighting against each other. Okay, so then you're going to get incomplete combustion within the unit, more particulates in the sky, but we don't want. So within that, rule of thumb, when you're burning wood, only use the top, close the bottom. When you're burning smokeless coal, only use the bottom, close the top. Okay. Now there's a person called, or Daniel, who is uh, doing an article and a lot more technical information than what I'm telling you today. The rule of thumb is exactly what it is. Uh, if you want to actually have a read of that, there'll be a link underneath and you can go and have a look at that as well. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please comment underneath. Uh, any likes, fantastic. Join our uh, register below. That would be fantastic. And you'll get some more videos as they come along as well. So thoughts from the hairy brush. Take care. Thanks very much. Have a great day because nothing's going to change if you don't. Bye-bye. <laughs>